everybody. Let's get this right out of the way. This is not the most ideal setup, but this book is a little bit bigger than my regular sketchbooks and I need somewhere else to put it, so bear with me. Today I'm going to be showing you my, so these are drawings or sketches that were not a part of my sketchbook that were done on d either different paper or cut out or scanned or used for something else and I pretty much just needed to put them in one place so I got this three inch binder and there's going to be art in here from this year. There's going to be some stuff in here that's old as like I'd say 2014 maybe. It ranges over a couple of years and there's just a lot so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the drawing on the front here is something I did for um, this October for the kind of Halloween season and inside is um, just an inked version of that so it's on a translucent paper. Um, I had plans to scan it and do something with it but nothing really worked out so I just like it as an illustration. I have this old gouache painting in here, some lettering I did for my brand, and then K-pop drawing I did. This was a test print. Uh, I got some ink on it so can't really sell it. Some more drawings. This was part of a um, pin and sticker set I did. This is an ink and watercolor drawing. Some kind of experimental texture stuff. Some stuff I planned on just scanning and using for something else. Maybe like a digital artwork. Um, this I ended up turning into a long sleeve shirt, and I'm actually really happy with it. So I thought that was still a pretty neat drawing. It's mixed media. Um, some pretty much reject Halloween ideas. I was going to do some sort of Halloween collection, maybe do postcards or stickers, but I didn't like them enough to go forward with it. Happy boy drawings. Um, some fruits. Inside of here is just some like larger stuff too, so just on like translucent paper or some big flowers and I don't know, other things like that. These are some preliminary sketches for the band painting that I did. I can insert some pictures of that, but um, just the initial sketches. Um, I then, <laughs> my cats just ran up the stairs. I then did everything digitally and used a projector to project it onto the actual van and then painted it with um, uh, outdoor paint. Somebody's cat, the commission. There's a lot of commissioned work in here too that I just don't really have a place for. Um, a version of one of the drawings that you saw earlier in the book. Nothing in there. This was a test sticker sheet that I did that the cutting didn't work out on, so <laughs> I still wanted to keep it though. Yeah. Hi! Yeah. Hi! Here are some cat drawings. I ended up making these into stickers. This and the other side are misprints from when I was trying out my new printer. And yeah. Excuse me! This was a commissioned piece. Behind it was just a floral, probably warm-up drawing. More K-pop boys, Jim with his lasers on. I made this into a sticker. A sketch that I forgot about and didn't finish. Um, more of those drawings of Jim that were made into stickers. Here's a sketch that I colored marker over. Um, too heavy that I couldn't see the lines anymore, so just kind of let that one go. And some older ones probably got made into buttons or stickers or something like that at one point. These were part of a, a sticker and pin pack. This is a commission piece for a band. They kind of wanted a ransom note style text, so I just did a whole bunch of those and then did everything digitally to do coloring and things like that. These are all just some originals. This was a design that I ended up making prints and buttons and stickers of. These this drawing, I ended up making little like mail stamps to put on my orders. This is a gouache painting from many years ago. I don't remember how long ago it was, but when I was really getting into gouache, um, I still really love gouache, but I don't use it as much, but I love this painting still. Um, some textural stuff, probably just a scan. Some more drawings, I kind of experimented with this 
translucent paper. So there's a couple drawings in there. More floral stuff. This guy is the part of my pumpkin spice drawing that you saw earlier. So I just had to like scan this and do the rest digital. Some pet commissions for stickers. I like this one. Mad Coons, Drinking Boba. This is a commission piece for an album cover. This little guy ended up turning into my sweatshirt that I designed, which I still really love. I might do something else with this design, but here were some of the other concepts to go along with it that didn't make the cut. These guys were going to be stickers. They might actually still be stickers. I still really like those and have the scans, so. Um, it's just some like text work in here, some lettering, um, some various drawings that didn't get completed, but I didn't really want to throw them away. This piece I actually ended up redoing because I, I don't know, I don't even remember what happened, but I redid it anyway, so I actually have two of these. <laughs> okay, Pop Boys. The glitter on this one. I really love it. And probably some Halloween sketches behind there. That was another one that I redid it. I don't remember why. <laughs> some textures. Sometimes I just scan stuff like this to apply digitally and do them as like overlay layers or screen layers or whatever just to add texture to digital pieces but still doing traditional work. Some miscellaneous sketches. Can you believe it? It's more K-pop boys. I have a lot of them in here. There's some other drawings in here. That one I think was gonna be part of a t-shirt design, but I don't really remember. This was part of my Halloween collection a couple years ago. Another gouache painting and another older gouache painting. If you remember this, um, you're old enough to qualify for a senior discount to my artwork in general. <laughs> and then there's just another painting tucked in the back that was too big. So that's what's inside my scrapbook, I guess you can call it. Uh, of just random drawings and miscellaneous stuff. So I think it, it ended up being about 50 pages, something like that. But I have more sleeves so I can just add all of these little random things um, in as I need to. So yeah, that's everything in there. Thank you so much for checking it out. You can look at my other sketchbook tours on my channel. I'll put the link for the thing and whatever. You know the drill. I'll see you guys next time.